Yeah. Well, there's a hive just at the end. Oh. Yeah. I'm staying away. They're, they're pretty yeah. docile. I'm to okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Are you? Yeah, I saw it. Good. What kind of time is that? Uh, creeping time. Creeping. Okay. That's like. So pretty. Yeah, it is wonderful in blossom like this, and it all is. of the pollinators love it. Yeah. They just come in. Now, your little. Like flower the plinth, yes. Is it cemented at all? At it's, the just it's, just it's just stacked brick. It's just stacked brick. Really and, nice. Uh, I love the votives. In the evening, I must say, when they're oh, all lit, and it, 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 very glimmery, very glowy, it's just beautiful. Well, I'm going to have to drive past <laughs> for some night. Yeah, I recommend it. It's, it, it. It really is a magnet to lure you into yeah. this space. That and is so interesting. I love that. Wonderful place to sit and in the when it's cooled down a little bit and uh, have a cocktail and just breathe in the smells of the potager. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. And your uh, parsley, does that just reseed itself every year and come back? Only it's celery. Oh, it's celery. Oh, okay. There is par there's parsley in the herb garden over there, okay. but uh, this I is that's celery and it does reseed freely. Really. Mm -hmm. Just uh, you know, snip off some, yeah. chew it if you like. It's a good flavor, wonderful f for soups. I wouldn't think of making soup without a big, you know, mm -hmm. chopped right. Right. sprig of this parsley. Well, quite lovely. Thank you very much. These are nice. These are for your tomatoes or for uh, other vining things. I'm I'm think that I'm gonna have a vining string beans on this one. I've got other French style haricot vert bush plants over there, but I want a vining string beans on this one and cucumbers on the other one. Oh yeah. There, there are some things that are yet in seed form that just haven't mm -hmm. gotten above the surface yet, but it'll go on until November. <laughs> that, those are the tops of parsnips. Those, those are parsnips, and just behind the parsnips, the drier looking things, those are the tops of salsify, uh, the oyster plant. It you know grows like a skinny white carrot, but uh, wonderful mild flavor that really is reminiscent of oysters. Um, but I love parsnips, and so you know I've never experienced parsnips, and they're but I forget they're what they're very good. They're very I forget what nutrient they are right up there. And they're great mixed in with mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. Or you, they're very versatile. You, if you mash parsnips and turnips together, yeah. wonderful flavor. Slightly bitter, but uh -huh. just great, great taste. And then nice to eat raw, just like cut up raw. Well, I've seen them shaved into a salad. I have oh. seen them shaved uh, like on a on a grater and then put into a salad. Very flexible, versatile vegetable. <laughs>